East Boise Tutors, we are going to go over Science Week 20, Layers of the Geosphere. This is all found in your Foundations Guide, page 125. We will also have access to the Classical Acts and Facts Science Card. Uh, this is the Science Card from Week 13, I believe, um, from the memory work of Week 13. Uh, but I'll have this just slipped in uh, so you can use it for your science. Uh, we're going to be using the science notebooks a lot for this um, week. I'm going to have some apples cut or some apples available for you to cut so that when they draw this, they kind of get a really good idea of uh, kind of a picture. It says, here's a fun and healthy way to observe. Take a bite out of the earth. Never eat an apple the same way again. And it just has a picture of the different parts of the geosphere in an apple form. Kind of a fun way uh, to really hit this home. So uh, part of the biosphere is the leaf. Um, I don't think I'm gonna find any apples this time of year with leaves on them, but I'll make sure to have a stem on there. And then talking about the atmosphere is all around the apple. Hydrosphere is the water either on the apple or around the apple. So kind of a fun thing for them to color. Um, Still, you're going to have uh, the area for them to fill in. I see, I smell, I hear, I feel. Um, talking, really uh, having the attending part of this experiment. And then on the opposite side, there is the geosphere that they can color in um, in a little bit better detail. So using those colored pencils and whatever you want to really get that to hit home. I also decided to make up some Play-Doh so they will have a chance to um, work in a team to make a little geosphere Play-Doh. Uh, the best way that I found to do this is kind of make a little well in your Play-Doh and then wrap it around. You can either demonstrate this for the kids or just have them kind of play around how they want to have their model of the geosphere. So we're just going to wrap it around um, using the different parts of the geosphere, having the inner and the outer core, the mantle, the crust, um, a hydrosphere, talking about the hydrosphere is not just the um, water that surrounds, what did they say, composed of all the water on the planet, Close to 97% of the Earth's water exists as salt water in the oceans, but the hydrosphere also includes the water in the atmosphere, rain, rivers, lakes, glaciers, and polar ice caps, and underground reservoirs. So, I was talking about that it's more than just the ocean, um, and just forming all those layers uh, in teams. I think it'll be fun to do it in teams. And then they can go ahead and cut it into halves and they can each take one part home. Um, I'll have some Ziploc baggies for them to be able to take that home uh, without it getting completely dried out. And then they have a little bit of Play-Doh. I'm just gonna make the salt Play-Doh because it's cheap. Um, so as you can see, I'm just making little wells and then stretching the Play-Doh around my ball and then rolling it. So your kids will find great ways to do this. And then we're gonna cut it into halves. So we've got the entire ball. It's going to be soft, but it'll still give them a good idea. You can kinda <laughs> round it out again. Then they have the different layers of their geosphere and they can uh, tell their families and tell the other kids in their in class why they did the different colors and what they chose. But I'll make sure you have enough different colors that everyone can make half of a ball. If you have a odd amount of students, go ahead and have one student pair up with you or have one student pair up um, with a parent just so everyone can have a half of a ball. So this should be a fun week. I'm hoping the apple and the coloring and the clay or Play-Doh 
uh, will stretch your time out well. Um, you can have each student go around and talk about the different parts of their layers of their geosphere. Um, you're welcome to read from the back of the uh, Acts and Facts science card, uh, making, making sure that we're more focused on the attending part and the kids doing the different parts of the geosphere rather than lecturing, but this gives them at least three different chances to go around and talk about the different layers in the apple, coloring the apple, um, and on our science notebooks, and then with the Play-Doh. So I think it'll be a fun week and hopefully keeps the kids feeling like they understand all the different parts of the geosphere. Thank you all for everything you do. I really appreciate you.